Hi everybody! I hope you're all doing well and everybody is having a gala time wherever they are and I just wanted to share my favorite fashion staples in my wardrobe. So the things that I really have to have in my wardrobe in order to have different combinations with them and what I think is essential for spring. In fact it is for all around of the year but uh, I wear it, I mix and match uh, with pastels and other bright front colors to coordinate it during the summer months. So let's get started with the stuff that I think are my fashion essentials. The first stuff, I guess, this is like a universal piece of item that everybody, every girl uh, and guy actually should own in their wardrobe because it is so versatile that you can actually play with it with a multiple range of outfits. It is the one and only black blazer. So I just ha happen to have a blazer that has like a white outline to it all across the length of it and here in the hem as well. So a black blazer is so staple in any wardrobe that you can actually wear it um, in uh, while you're wearing shots. You can layer it on the top over a spaghetti tank top or uh, you can be formal with it. You can wear it over a party dress just to make it a little more uh, formal even if you're going for a party and then you uh, uh, you can just put this on over a party dress and make it more functional if you mean what I mean to convey. So I just love my blazer and this especially is the one um, from Old Navy. I'm in a size small and I absolutely love to rock this at a party, at an event, uh, over the jeans, over shorts, over just about anything that I can rock it. And this is my number one staple in my closet. I guess everybody should have a white and a black. I'm still on the lookout for a perfectly fitting white blazer. I saw one at Forever 21 but it was not in my size so I'm still on the lookout for it. So yeah. And the second staple is a sheer lace like a sheer lace sweater kind of a thing but it's not actually a sweater it's just like that you kind of throw over a top so yeah it's beautiful i found this at forever 21 for around 20 bucks but it is so worth it i absolutely love it it's so sexy it has this um, sheer lace kind of a thing. I generally wear it over a red tank top and this absolutely looks gorgeous. This is another staple uh, for transitioning from winter to spring. It still has whenever you like feel a little more cold you can actually layer this on and this is perfectly fine with a scarf which is rolled around your neck but uh, this the scarf and the jeans with knee length boots bang on guys this is number one so if you happen to find I, I guess i saw this at target as well so if you happen to find this just go and snag it because it is so worth it and it makes you look so sexy it's like sheer lace it has these flowery patterns in all over so yeah that's my second staple the third staple is a color block item in your wardrobe it could be a dress it could be shorts it could be shoes or heels or wedges or whatever the thing that i own currently is a skirt you can wear this with a multitude of outfits. You can layer these with leggings. You can wear neutral color tops to make this skirt pop. You can just, uh, you know, try out different combinations with the items that, with the clothes that you have already existing in your wardrobe. The third thing is this. So color blocking is so much into spring and it's so much in the current trend that at least you need to own at least one, um, piece of an outfit or one piece of an accessory that is color blocked and which suits you and which uh, reflects your personal style. For me, this is the easiest style that I can curl block, color block <laughs> and wear it with a multitude of outfits. So this is my third. The fourth is another a skirt, a denim skirt. Like, I'm sure like most of y'all must be having a denim skirt for sure because denim skirt is such a staple for girls. I guess it started in the 80s and it has still continued. So I love my denim skirt. 
I generally wear this over legging when it's fall and during the summer I just rock it with a pair of sneakers or Oxford flats. So, yeah. This is the next thing that I really like and have to have in my wardrobe. The next thing is a polo shirt. It could be just about anything uh, in your wardrobe. It could be white, it could be black. I happen to have a red polo shirt. You can also layer with the blazer that I showed earlier. Uh, earlier. I don't know, I'm just kind of mumbling words. So, yeah, it fits really well and adjusts to my shape so I really like it and yeah you can wear this as you transition from summer to fall so maybe it's not the ideal thing for summer but everybody has to have like a polo shirt in their wardrobe so yeah coming up is one of my favorite things to have is like a denim jacket it could be in blue it could be in black I happen to have it in white White happens to be my second favorite color after red, so there are a lot of whites in my wardrobe. So yeah, I just like this. It's just a white simple jacket. You can wear this over zebra print clothing like dresses, or you can wear it over a flowy dress if it's a little more, to make it a little more conservative. If you are, that's your concern. You can wear it over jeans to make it sporty. You can wear it over skirt to give it that rocker chick look. So I absolutely love this blazer and I actually got it at Kohl's really recently. So I haven't even taken out the tags yet. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. It's around forty-eight dollars, but I got fifteen percent off of it, so it was like thirty-five-ish something. I don't even remember. So yeah, I just got this my recent purchase, and I absolutely like it a lot. You can get this at Forever Twenty One, and I happen to see that much later, and it's much much cheaper than the one that I found at Kohl's. So yeah. So white jacket, it actually has to be a denim jacket. It could be the color preference of your choice, but make sure that you at least own a pair of jacket that you can mix and match with the outfits that you wear on a daily basis to work or for play. So yeah, and coming up are my favorite spring outfits. And spring means color flowers, color blocking, and this is one of my favorite spring outfits. And whenever I wear this, people always compliment me. So yeah, I actually layer this over like a shrug or like a scarf to make it even more springy. Yeah, so if that's a word. So yeah, this is one of my favorite spring clothes. I'm not sure if it's like a sleeveless, long, yeah. So yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite spring dresses. The other one that I found at Ross for super cheap, like 15 bucks. Like, yeah, 15. 40 99 or something is this flower. It's like really cute, knee length. I wore this in my last vacation, actually last year. So this is literally about a year old, but it's still as new. Nobody can guess it that I bought it last spring. And yeah, it has these um strings which you can tie it has a conservative v-neck it's sleeveless and it's beautiful turquoise color so yeah this is my favorite spring dresses so spring dresses are an essential for the season and last but not the least you got to have a white sun protecting hat i happen to love this color and i found it well, a New York and Company, I guess. I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this. It protects me from the heat, makes me look a tad bit chic and chic, and I happen to just look a little more cuter in this, I guess. So, yeah. Make sure that you have a uh, hat of something bright and fun so that... You're protected and you look stylish as well. You can put it like that, whichever style you wish. I can't wait to rock this as soon as summer hits us here where I live. So 
yeah that's my last favorite so let me know what are your favorites i would definitely love to see uh different ideas of people who have a different taste and what are your staples so if you like this uh, video please give me a thumbs up and please hit the button right here or here with say subscribe and that will make me like really happy and there are lots of videos that i want to put up so don't miss out on those and hit the subscribe button here and i'll see you in my next video bye